Okay. So hello everyone. My name is Amul. Amul Kaha. So I am a like a Python player. Uh, I'm organizing a Python player since last four years, as I have mentioned. So and I'm a full time a Python developer. So I like the, the stuff with uh, play around with the Python and uh, doing stuff with uh, doing some uh, small automation or your daily automation with Python, etc. So uh, I can reduce my work. So and uh, might make the use of the Python much better. So we are going to start with the what's new in Python 3.9. Uh, so there are lots of new things which they are uh, introduced in the Python, and uh, we are going to see them one by one. OK, so first of all, how to install Python 3.9. So we are going with this. So, so there are two ways using that you can install the Python. So first one is that uh, using source, you can just uh, clone the C Python Git repository. Otherwise, if you already clone it, just make sure you update it to face the, all of the branches, and etc. And make sure that you are checking out with the Python 3.9 branch. And just build it using make and make install. And yes, you are starting with the Python 3.9. So I installed Python 3.9 yesterday night. So this is my latest Python 3.9 uh distribution so let's check out with it and you can see that uh i have uh, python 3.9 development version here so it's saying that okay you are checked out with the python 3.9 branch and the uh, sharp okay. okay so another way you think that you can use uh, download the tarball on the python.org and you can install the uh, usual uh, airport okay so let's go with the new additions into the python 3.9 uh, so let's go with the small part with the strings okay so they added a few new methods like remove prefix and remove suffix so let's see how these things work so means it's like not like a rocket science so suppose this is our string. If you are like using, like if you want to remove the prefix underscore underscore, like uh, which we call as a tender. So if you want to remove that, like, remove prefix. So like it will give you the output of the uh, uh, main. And if you want to remove. Amol, maybe you want to increase the font size a bit. Sorry. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. One more, maybe. If it, if it will, yeah, fit in. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Ah, sorry, I messed up Okay, so you can see that uh, there is it also removed the uh, remove suffix and but still there is one question remain if in the Python there are still there are two methods already present like uh, uh, so where it is okay L strip and R, R strip still why they introduce these two new methods that still the question remains so uh, basically it's because of what happened so when you are using the L strip or R strip, that time Python interpreted treat this each in a treat string as a, each and every character, not as a string. When you are using the remove suffix or remove prefix, that time it will treat all the string as a as a string, and it will remove the substring from the string. That's why they introduced these two new methods. So. That's for the string. So let's go with the. Okay, so these are the, some of the like, examples which I try to explain. Okay, so it's it's much more clear. So let's go with another chapter like dictionaries. So uh, actually, into the dictionary, they introduced new operator, union operator, which is like pipe and equal to. So we know that uh, we have some uh, shorthand operators in Python. 
First a equal to 10, b equal to 20. So we are using a plus equal to k, and we are seeing all the result into the a. So this type of short uh operands, uh, they are used into the Python. So let's go with uh, some of the dictionary examples. Suppose there is one dictionary. I will take one of my favorite examples. So you can see that there are two dictionaries, like one is the T and one is the E. Into the T, there are uh, three attributes, uh, sorry, three key value pairs. And uh, into the E, there are two key value pairs. So we can see that uh, in the first one, there is a value of three, it's integer three. And into the E, there is value of the three, it's uh, zero three as a string. So what we are going to check, so let's check out first what this union operator does. OK, so if we check t dot e, then we'll, we can see that it's combining the means it's the union of the two dictionaries. OK, first of all, we can observe that this three value got replaced with this string. So in short, we can conclude that the right hand operator got Overridden means uh, override by the left hand uh, left hand operator got override by the, the right hand operator. Okay, so let's take a bit and go with some example more. So we can check that. So now this three value is the digit three. So we can see that this value three got overridden by the um digit three. Okay, so means again the left hand operator. Uh, sorry, I'm getting confused. <laughs> I'm confusing with the left hand, right hand. Uh, so, right hand operator got uh, overridden by the uh, left hand right values, but still the result is the same. Like we are getting one union of the dictionary. Okay, so let's see. So, what this operator is going to do. Okay, so we can see that uh, now this dictionary means that t now has a four value. So that's the operator which they have introduced here. So again, it's following the same behavior. So again, it's going to add zero three inside the uh, dictionary t. So this is clear. So if you have any questions, please put into the chat. So can go for the next. And one more thing, like uh, suppose, uh, uh, can you open one more table? I think she... Ah. So said this is my dictionary. So into the Python 3.8, suppose if you want to add one more operator, suppose like uh, two. So basically, you cannot uh, add the dictionary and list into the Python. But in the Python 3.9, they actually overcome uh, with this behavior. So using this operator, so actually you can write value okay, so you can see that the now five got added 
inside the dictionary. So this is the new some of the new features which they have added inside the field. Because sometimes what happened, we are getting the some values uh, inside the form of the uh, items. So these values, if we need to add inside the dictionary, then again we need to add some uh, like star star or uh, d1, d2, etc. So again we need to do some process. So that's why they come up with this idea and. Uh, they are doing follow testing. Okay, so let's go with the. Uh, yeah, so that's what I explained to you. Okay, so this is the PEP 0584. So you can go check out this PEP. So it's it will be more descriptive than um, I'm explaining here. So let's check out the, some of the grammar. So some of the. Uh, so when we are using the decorators, that time there there was some grammar restriction. So you cannot use that. You can, with the decorators, you can only do this, do that, blah 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 stuff. So they come up. They uh, inside this, they uh, remove some of the restrictions from the grammar. So let's check what exactly these restrictions. Okay. Wrote some code into the file. Okay, so this is our simple decorator function, and we are decorating this hello world with this function. So it will what it will print first of all, it will print function wrapper and then hello world. That's what it will does. Okay, so but now we have come up with this new idea. So suppose you have two decorator function, and some of like here is hello world. And there is one more function where you want to add some decorators, but you want to combine all of the decorators inside one dictionary. Okay, so how you are going to do that? So simply, these are two of my decorators, hello one and hello two. And what I'm doing, I'm adding x1 and s2 inside one small dictionary. So basically, inside that dictionary, I'm passing a decorator and x1 so basically it's pointing to this x1 okay and it will print the hello world and again inside this s2 it will again pointing this hello world so this if you try it all of these things in python 3.8 version then it will not work so it will throw an error this is not the uh, syntax error and etc stuff but uh, in Python 3.9, this thing actually works. So let's go and try it. Oh, let me move this. Okay, deco one by five. So you can see that uh, it will print the hello world and etc. So uh, what's happening? So first of all, it's executing the decorator, then it's printing the hello world, then inside the print. Uh, um, hello world is printing the hello world from there and again it's executing. So you can go with this example after the talk I will put all of the slides into the uh, issue and you can refer it there. Okay, so there is some question in the uh sure. yes uh, actually uh, yeah plus and equal to this is shorthand operator which works in 3.8 yeah it's a shorthand operator it's not only 3.7 it's there since like 2.7 and it's a or maybe before that i'm not sure about it and uh yeah it's uh okay pipe works like a like an kind of after joint um uh, seriously i'm not familiar with the most much more in the database tables and etc but if it's the work like a outer gen then yeah I'm, I'm i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry i'm not much more familiar with the database so if it's uh auto gen or anything <laughs> okay so let's go with it so hope so this is clear so if you have any question then we can discuss in the into the next hour meeting room so okay so let's go with the uh, annotated type in. So arbitrary, uh, 
what is the allocate? So it's arbitrary data type for the Python function, uh, arbitrary metadata, sorry. For the Python function, uh, if you can see the example. So this is our simple function like uh, area, length and width. So we are with, uh, calculating the area, simple length and width. So if we are doing some area, let's like length and width, length is like consider it's in the meter and width is like into the meters, then we are uh, again uh, returning the area. Uh, sorry, I messed up here. <laughs> okay, so I put the weight function here. And, So, and we are returning the area meters per square. Okay. So after that, so what we are going to do with the annotated? So this annotated is basically introduced in Python 3.7, I guess. And after that, this uh, this is how we are using. So we are using annotated, like we are saying that integer value is in the meter. The second length value is bread, which is the integer value and is also in meter and the area, which is the result. It will be the also integer and it will be, its unit is meter per, set, uh, meter per square. So again, we are using length as a, like we are completely putting to the annotated 8 meter feet here and bread and we are returning the area. So this is how this annotated function runs. So basically what exactly it uh, used for? So it will tell a uh, uh, developer or uh, it will tell the static analysis, OK, this is the things which you need to pass it here. Because basically, we know that the Python is a dynamic language. And tracking all of the things inside the Python is quite hard. So maybe uh, we can use that uh, annotated into the Python uh, static code analysis and so forth. so that's why these things are here so basically it's nothing but uh, it will tell you how to um, which values are you are going to pass it here what is the type and etc 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 so next one is the library so, so they have uh, some made a some um, uh, improvements into the Python library. So one of them is the time zone. So basically, it supports the INI, uh, uh, IANI, uh, IANI time zone databases. So basically, it is the one of the most updated databases into the world, and uh, we are using that database to keeping our Python libraries updated. So it's simple, like a uh, time zone. Like uh, you can use the time zone UTC. So let's go and check it out. Ah. Uh, from get time to put get time and time zone. Get time dot now. If I say this is equal to So basically, in that time zone, UTC. So it will tell you what exactly the current time zone of the UTC. So if you want some our Indian time zone or somewhere else time zone, so what we can do, we can import from zone info import zone info. Okay. So date time dot now. Is it equal to so info Asia? So Asia Kolkata is our Indian standard timing. So whatever what we known as the ISC. So we can check that this is the eleven thirty seven fifty three. Okay, so this is the current timing. Uh, it's morning eleven a.m. thirty seven minutes and fifty three seconds. And so that's what they have improved in this time zone. And there are lots of more things. So which are there inside the, you can go to the this link and check out what etc things they have added. Like currently they have added the Python parser 
uh, new parser and they are uh, uh, removing that parser into the Python 3.10 version. After that, there are some uh, C Python adapter uh, uh, means C Python adapted new uh, uh, new release cycle. What uh, it's not, but it they have started this from the this version. So uh, this is about uh, some of the process release process and etc. We can call that. And uh, again, they have some uh, uh, changes into the, some process management and etc. stuff. So. Uh, so there was a, uh, some, uh, uh, like I mentioned, the fake parser. So that parser, uh, uh, you can uh, check out that using the, uh, you can compile your code with the old parser and new parser, that kind of functionality they also provide into the Python 3.9. And they are going to remove the old parser into the 3.10. And uh, lots of other things they have, uh, Releasing to the Python 3.9. So, so that's it uh, from my side. If you have any questions, uh, okay. So there are no questions into the chat. If you have questions, please put into the chat so I can answer. Yeah. So that's it from uh, my side. Yeah. Let's wait for a few seconds as there might be delay. Uh, if someone has questions, then you can take. Yeah, so Milind is asking if any web frameworks has moved to Python 3.9. Uh, like uh, any if uh, any web framework has updated their code to make sure it works with 3.9. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm uh, certainly not sure about it, mm -hmm. but... Uh... I'm not a web developer guy, <laughs> yeah. so maybe uh, I can check that. Uh, otherwise, we can go to the Django.com and uh, say check what exactly they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can certainly post that on the uh, your proposal, basically, uh, if you find anything about that. Yeah, that's another good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh... I guess uh, we don't have any questions. So yeah, uh, nice. It was nice summary. Uh, you ran through all the new changes, few few of the previous changes as well. So if someone is not aware, they now are aware of those all changes. Cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, Pradwan says uh, fast API probably has moved to 3.9. So yeah, maybe we can check that out and then we'll discuss on the issue itself. Okay, so thank you.